What's going on? It's the Manifold Hustle. And in today's video, I'm going to go over three reasons why I'm bullish on XYO. And all three of these reasons are going to be revolved around the fact that XYO is an Oracle coin and it collects geospatial data from the real world and brings it to the blockchain. This data can be provided to people or projects who are looking for some kind of location specific information. And XYO is able to do this through the power of proof of location, which is a process where they can prove with accuracy that this location specific information is actually true. And so we're going to look at the three reasons why I'm bullish. And then towards the end, I do want to look at the price action of XYO. Not that I'm trying to give any kind of predictions or that I have any kind of technical analysis or anything. But it's just to kind of speculate on what we think might happen. And so the first reason why I'm bullish on XYO is because it is a part of the deep end sector. That stands for Decentralized Physical Infrastructure Network. And I see a lot of value that XYO can bring to certain projects within this deep end space. I think that a lot of the projects within the deep end sector, especially with mapping, location and logistics, they can use XYO to provide accurate geospatial data for their project. In fact, Natix is a part of the deep end sector. This is an AI dash cam type of project. They have a partnership with XYO because they see the value in the proof of location that XYO brings to the table. So this proof of location that XYO uses as their protocol to make sure that this information is accurate, it, there's value in it that, that a lot of other projects can end up using. And what makes it even better is the fact that XYO has over 7 million nodes worldwide. And this is what's establishing its decentralization. Anyone can go onto the app store and download the coin app and start geo mining this location data from their phone or whatever device they have. This all contributes to the decentralization and to the physical infrastructure, which can be provided. All this data can be provided to the blockchain, which will help other projects who need this location specific information. And like I said, this proof of location protocol that they use makes it very, very hard for fraudulent data to come through to the blockchain. So that's my reason number one. And if you like this information so far, then all I'm asking you to do is just hit that like button. I really would appreciate it. And let's get into number two. So the second reason why I'm bullish on XYO is because it aims to be a big part of the metaverse. And I know the metaverse hasn't been talked about very much lately. It's not a trending topic in the crypto space. The last time I really heard about it was back in 2021 when it was a, a big thing when Facebook turned to Meta and all that stuff. But uh, since nobody's really talking about it, there are still people who are working inside of the metaverse. And I believe that it's just going to take some time for it to grow and mature into what we all expect it to be. So eventually, I believe that it's going to come back and it's going to be another trending topic in the crypto space later on, maybe it might not even be this bull cycle. It might be uh, two or three years from now. I don't know when, but eventually I do believe that it's going to gain mass adoption. And I think XYO, because it can provide real world data to the blockchain, it could be somewhat of a bridge between the real world and the, uh, the metaverse. And I believe that XYO being a bridge between the real world and the metaverse will create a foundation for a lot of the metaverses that will be. And I believe that a lot of metaverses are going to have to rely on real world data and they're not going to want any fraudulent data, which a lot of people can go in and deceive a lot of people. The, the technology that XYO has is able to prevent that from happening. And so if they can provide this location data or whatever data from the real world, and be a bridge into these metaverses that are going to be created, then I see a lot of value in what XYO can bring. I know that a lot of metaverses that are being created are going to need this information because they're going to be creating maps. They're going to be creating things that are going on logistically, and they're going to need to rely on all this information that XYO can bring to the table. 
Now, I know XYO has competitors and big ones at that. They got Chainlink. They got um, other, other Oracle coins can be their competitors. But I think XYO being specific to geospatial data brings value that no one else can really bring. Not in the, the way that XYO can because it's such a big infrastructure. So that's the second reason why I'm bullish on XYO is because of the metaverse. Let's get into the third reason why. Now, the third reason why I'm bullish on XYO is because of its real world use case. Now, of course, this doesn't have anything to do with crypto per se, but in real world use cases, we can think of companies like rental companies, insurance companies, delivery companies. Um, even I can think of some government use cases where if there was a court case or something, then XYO could provide location specific information that can help with all of these companies. For example, let's say you go and rent out a vehicle and you're driving, you get into an accident and it's the other person's fault, but this person doesn't want to say that it's their fault. And there's really no way to prove based on where the collision happened. Well, XYO could possibly, I'm not saying it's going to happen, but potentially could provide location specific information about these cars that can help determine who was actually at fault. And so it's use cases like these that I see a lot of real world value, not just in the metaverse, not just in deep in or whatever crypto narrative is going on, but in, in the actual real world, I could see this happening where they can bring value to these types of companies. And so those are the three reasons why I'm bullish on XYO. Let's go ahead and look at the price action. And then I want to hear from you guys what you guys think of XYO. So we just hit over one cent not too long ago. And the last time we did that, this was in July of 2022. And we hit an all time high of eight cents back in, I believe, October, if I'm correct me if I'm wrong, October of 2021. Uh, if we were to go back to the eight cents, the all time high, that would be a seven or eight X from the one cent mark that we're at right now. I think it's at 1.3 cents or something like that. And so that would be a pretty good uh, return on our, on our investment. But just imagine if it was to go to uh, 16 cents because at eight cents, it was at a one billion market cap. So if it was to go to a two billion market cap, we'd be looking at 16 cents. And if we were looking at a four billion market cap, we're looking at 32 cents and five billion market cap would be 40 cents per token. So I don't know how high it's going to go. I'm not making any predictions, but it's just it's pretty fun to look at and kind of speculate and see where this price could actually go in the future. I'm dollar cost averaging right now and I'm holding for the long term. I'll be taking profits along the way if it does go up pretty high, but I'm going to be holding on to a lot of my bag for the future. So that's all I got for you today. Make sure you hit the like button, comment down below. Let, let me know what you think about XYO. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. I appreciate you.